William, where have you been? The party's already begun. I have some work to finish in my office, Mr. Duke. It's Christmas Eve, and William wants to keep working, Mortimer. I'll think of you in Stockholm when I accept the Nobel Prize. The wager has two parts, as I recall. Something about a second party turning to crime. Uh, didn't, uh, didn't you say you had some work to do, Valentine? Yes, sir. I was wondering about this $10,000 check to Mr. Clarence Beeks. I'll, uh, I'll take care of it, Valentine. I don't seem to recall any clients Beaks working for the firm, Mr. Duke. It was, uh, it was before you joined us, Valentine. We did manage to stay in business for 47 years before your arrival. Have a drink, William. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Duke. What? Merry Christmas. Oh, oh. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. you're doing? Randolph, Mortimer, come in here quickly. I finally caught him. Who are you? I've caught him red-handed. Winthorpe, is that you? I'm making a citizen's arrest. This man is a drug dealer. Look, look here in his office drawer. He's got all the bad drugs here. Marijuana joints, pills, quaalude, valium, yellow ones, red ones, cocaine grinder. Drug needles, he's the pusher, not me. Really, I just came in and caught this man planting this stuff in my desk. It's obviously some primitive attempt to try to frame me. Frame you? Boy, if that isn't the pot calling the kettle black. This man's obviously a lunatic. I'm calling security. Put that phone down. Hello, security. Merry Christmas. Try to rob me? plant drugs on me, who steal my house, my car, my job. You know, I ought to kill him right now. Hey, look, man, this is a big misunderstanding, all right? I don't know nothing about your house and your car and your job, really. Can you put that gun away? Will you ask the Duke? Put that gun away at once, Winthorpe. You lost your mind. Free, slime ball. Whoa. I realize this whole experience must have been rather unsettling for you. Winthorpe, don't leave. We can explain. Yeah. You'll be sorry. <laughs> You'll all be very, very sorry. Poor, deluded creature. We caught him pilfering at our club, embezzling funds, selling drugs. Now he's dressing up like Santa Claus. Very sordid business. I can't believe Winthorpe would fall to pieces like that. It's none of my business, but that guy belongs behind bars. He's unemployed, Valentine. There's no excuse, Mortimer. He's flat broke, obviously hungry. Oh, but he has money to buy drugs, right? 
Listen, you can't be soft on people like that. Take it from me, I know, Randolph. <laughs>